economist Nisreen Radwan Vala. Sorry, I didn't reply back. I've been busy at work, and I haven't really gotten the chance to text back. You're not wrong, and you don't have to apologize for anything. This is the way things are supposed to go anyways. I don't know what the future holds for us, but I think it's better off if we let it go and move on with our lives. Whatever happens, happens. I love you and care about you, and know that I don't want you to ever be the reason I get hurt. We should move on, and God will guide what's good for us. I don't want to keep you waiting for something I'm not sure is going to happen. Good luck and take care of yourself. And it's up to you to keep in touch or not. But I would love that. Goodbye. <laughs> what did I do? They never tell you what you did. They're just very nice, nicely get away from me. Um, you know, they're not always bad guys. To be honest, um, uh, love has its ups and downs, but... Um, it's it's a it's a remarkable and beautiful experience. However, it goes. You either walk away, um, whatever happens, you walk away learning something about yourself. And if you don't, it's really because what's coming next is going to be better. And I also want to share with you just some of the very beautiful moments in my life when when it worked out and it hit just right and it was perfect. So uh, these are um, some pieces from um, love notes or love cards that I got on special holidays. This one's from Valentine's Day, uh, February 14th. Yusuf, my love for you is above and beyond any love there ever was, there is, and ever will be. When I say I love you, my heart races and it feels just right. I want to be with you today, tomorrow, and forever. In your arms is my favorite place to be. I love you, baby. Yeah. Here's another one. Yusuf, when I first noticed this card, I knew it was the one because it literally describes my love for you. I honestly think no matter what I say or do, it's not enough to describe my true love for you. I am very thankful to be yours and ever so happy to have you all for myself. I couldn't be more content. I hope this is the beginning of a lifelong relationship. I hope our love grows each and every day. Inshallah, with time, it will get easier to be with. We want to be together and we'll make it happen. Love you forever and always. There we go. Right. We're going to close off the night with some music. It's always great to end, um, uh, to end with music. So we're going to be listening to a love song performed by Ms. Yara al Hajj and Mr. Uh, Osama Masri Zada. Before I bring them up, give them a round of applause. Go ahead. Go ahead. Before I bring them up, um, I just want to say one more thing, because I'd like to close with the music. So once the music is done, I've just got some logistics I want to share with you. Um, first thing is, uh, the museum closes right at 8, so we have to clear uh, this place at 8 o'clock sharp. Um, or, or before that. So I know, you know, I want to catch up with everybody in here. I mean, every single one of you, I hope I get to talk to you on our way out. But what we like to do is after the show, uh, we move a block and a half um, west of here to Hada's Coffee. We can all go over there, grab a coffee, hang out, catch up with everybody. We'd love to stay longer, but, you know, I, I want to make sure that we don't overstay our, our, our welcome and our time here at the, at the museum. Um, I want to leave with one last thing. I'm looking out into the audience. You know, I came up here and I shared a bunch of things from you from different periods of my life. And I'm looking at a lot of young people in here, and I look at myself, you know, I, I look at myself and I say, who was I at your age, and what did I need to hear when I was your age? And after the ups and downs that I've shared with you, there are a couple of things I'd like to say to you on this day after Valentine's Day. No matter how your Valentine's Day went, here's something I wish somebody had told me uh, when I was a young man. First, I want to talk to the guys. I want to say something to you guys. It may not seem like it, guys, but honestly, the point is not to get the girl. The point is to pursue her. And through that pursuit, we do great things. Whether she says yes or no, we work hard to keep her, or we work hard to get over her. And we keep going. And through that pursuit, we do great things. And if it ain't this one, it's because a better one is next. And it keeps getting better. And that's something I want to say. Every time it didn't work out, 
I worked on myself, I got better, and next time it was better. And it will be better for as long as it goes on. Me and my beautiful girl right now, hey, I hope it works out, and it is working out so far. I mean, sometimes it isn't, sometimes it isn't. Sometimes it's great, and sometimes it's not great. But the truth is, no matter what happens, I improve every time. Whether she inspires me through her kind words, or I have to work harder through not-so-kind words. At the end of the day, you keep working. And I want to say something to the ladies. Ladies, not every guy is that one who broke your heart. I'm telling you, there's a lot of really good guys out here. And hey, look, he might not, he's rough around the edges when you find him, I promise, right? But that's what we do, right? We work hard, we improve each other, right? You fix him, and he fixes you. We keep trying, and we keep going, and it's one big, beautiful journey, and if nothing else, we walk out of it learning something and feeling very uh, successful and happy in the end. And I want happiness for everybody, and I really hope, uh, and I believe sincerely that everybody will find that at a time in their life. I want to close with this beautiful song, so we're going to welcome everybody up here, um, and I want to make some beautiful noise for Miss Yara Hajj and Mr. Osama Masri Zah.